Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Soleil Rising and if you're interested in watching horoscope predictions and some astrology video related content, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and like it and share it with your friends. Hi dear Virgo, welcome back to my channel and this is your August horoscope prediction. Please make sure to check your rising and moon sign for your monthly horoscope predictions because the rising sign will give you the most accurate prediction and your sun sign maximum will give you like 50 percent of uh predictions so and then you will go around and can blame me for not giving you the right i don't know why i'm complaining anyways please make sure to know your rising sign and check it out uh in this long video because i made it more convenient for you to be able to kind of like navigate through those three hour long video to find your rising sun and moon signs and let's begin well, uh, the month starts with Mercury being in Leo in your 12th house from July until 4th of August. What does it mean? Mercury being in the 12th house means that you have been, yeah, from July, preparing documents for an immigration. You have been planning and uh, preparing for moving abroad, moving to some kind of new place, to some kind of faraway place from the place that you have been already living in. At the same time, it can also mean that you were spiritually growing, you were spiritually learning new skills for your growth, such as meditation, I don't know, astrology, to reading, or just uh, becoming in tune with your uh, inner self. From 4th of August, Mercury is gonna go to your first house of yourself. Now you will be thinking a lot about your physical health, your physical body, your diet and how you want to improve your physical appearance or your physical body after 25th of august basically from 26th of august mercury is gonna go to your second house of money which means that uh from 26th of august you will be working and receiving some kind of profit from the job that you have been uh, planning on to get and some kind of promotion that you really wanted to have it can also mean that from 26th of august uh it can really depend for depending on your time of birth the day can also depend you will be buying things for your comfort you will be buying things for your office or for your house for your room or for some things that are going to be uh, for your convenience i don't know maybe you will you will buy a wallet you will buy uh, uh, something that will help you i don't know basically anything that will be helping you to support your day-to-day -day job okay the next thing we're going to have is that uh, venus is in cancer from july until 12th of august and it is going to be in your 11th house when venus is in 11th house it usually means that you are winning in competitions or it means that you are uh that you are meeting friends who could potentially connect you to your new love or it can mean that your loved ones or your your the person that you like is your friend or your friend is becoming your love partner so for for creative virgos who are whose let's say profit or life depend on their creativity um means that you will be putting your art to the public vision so that other people can see you you will be participating in competitions and definitely winning either money or recognition i would say it's mostly money usually it's money or just you know getting that fame or getting popular is really helping for your confidence or self-esteem boost which is amazing from um 12th from 13th of august venus is gonna go to your 12th house and when venus is in the 12th house again for those virgos who are planning to move out uh, and uh, immigrate to some other country it is amazing because it means that the place where you will immigrate to is going to be actually the place where you will really feel comfortable it's the place where you will feel like you belong there you will have a lot of pleasure in there you will definitely feel like this is your new home this is where you will feel comfortable um, at the same time this position can mean that 
you are learning more about yourself you are becoming you're opening that channel for creativity because venus is like beauty and pleasure and everything that makes you feel happy for musicians for someone who work with art and they need that kind of inspiration when venus is in the 12th house it's the most amazing time because your intuition your imagination is going to become so beautiful that it can actually bring you some kind of financial benefit so basically your imagination will be open for receiving this new information that you can incorporate and manifest into money uh, which can be monetized okay the next thing we're going to have is actually oh my god the best aspect uh, that i think is venus trining jupiter when venus and jupiter have any kind of bone together especially trine which is considered the best aspect it means a gift it means a blessing it means abundance and in your case it is in the 12th and 8th house so 8th house jupiter is in your 8th house and venus is in your 12th house of immigration of uh, imagination of intuition of channeling and meditation and <laughs> jupiter is in the 8th house also of uh, intuition astrology and other people's money so to me it looks like you are definitely going to receive some kind of financial support from someone or government for some kind of organization either related to either this organization is it's kind of secretive organization it's not openly like available it's some kind of organization that either will support your immigration or will support <clears throat> you traveling and moving abroad or uh, it can mean that you will have some kind of support related to traveling abroad it can also mean that whatever art whatever creativity that you have will bring you some kind of financial benefit or for some of you it can also mean that you will spiritually grow like your intuition is going to be so good now or you will be seeing so many dreams that you can even like foresee the future i think it's great i would love to have that okay um the next thing we're having is mars is in your ninth house until 20th of august well when mars is in the ninth house obviously it means you're traveling abroad you are either uh yeah basically traveling what else can it be it can mean that traveling abroad it can mean you are getting your degree you are preparing for exams you are graduating uh, it can also mean working in a foreign company working with foreigners or learning a new language and then living abroad that's why you're learning this language and the cool thing is that you are having not only mars in your ninth house you are having uranus conjunction with north node and it is going to be for a long time this aspect this position means that you are receiving sudden changes sudden uh, improvements sudden pushing like you will feel like somebody's pushing you to do something related for you to go out of your comfort zone and to go abroad um actually this aspect is considered positive but let's say for some of you who think that uh, moving abroad or just you feel like you have to go out you have to study or you feel like you have to leave your country or you have to leave your place for a new place if you feel like it's uh, something negative it is actually not it means that you had so many chances before to change your life and you didn't do it but if you feel like you are being forced to do it now it's actually good because <laughs> i mean it's actually bad because you had many chances to do it but you didn't and now the planets are like pushing you by force to change your life especially when it comes to living studying or working abroad or just getting that degree if you feel like 
uh, <clears throat> if you feel like, oh my God, I again have to study, I have to get this degree, it means that you need it. You will probably need this degree. You will probably need this job with working with foreigners or you will need this language, new language that you're learning. You are needing it for some kind of good purposes for your life. Yeah, things, doesn't, things don't happen for no reason. There is a reason. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, another thing is that this Mars, Uranus, and North Node being in your ten, uh, ninth house of abroad, foreigners, international companies, and new languages, it's actually making really good aspects with your immigration, with your 12th house, and with your uh, kids or uh, your new dates, your new love. So see you are forced to either move abroad or study abroad and it is related to your 12th house of immigration or spiritual growth so please make sure to to kind of uh, use this kind of aspect that is going to be happening in your life from actually from july okay and uh, <clears throat> mars is gonna go to your 10th house from 21st of august well when Mars goes to your 10th house, it usually means that you will uh, get that promotion or you will get a job where you will be actively working. You will be super active. You will be um, <laughs> kind of working towards achieving that. I, I would say your work, your effort, your actions when working will directly influence your profit. So the more you work, the more you do things, the more prof uh, like financial benefit you are going to receive. And Mars being there in 10th house, wanted or not, it means that you will be really active. You will be working super hard. But also it means that you will be changing your status. Let's say uh, you were a citizen of uh, one country and now you are having a citizenship of another country. And that is why you are preparing the documents and you're going and getting those papers and stuff like that. Um, we're going to have a full moon on the 12th of August in your 6th house of work, health, day-to-day -day job and routine and your uh, pets. So full moons are usually closure ending and um, kind of finalizing the chapter that you have started before. And it is also sometimes related to cutting ties with someone or with a job or something. In your case, it's related to... It's going to happen on 12th, right? So it means that you're going to cut ties with some kind of position. Maybe now you're cutting ties with this position. Now you're moving to a new position. It can also mean that you're cutting ties with some kind of coworkers or with some kind of employees. You're probably firing some employees that, that no longer serve you or you are changing your office or your uh, surroundings so you are no longer having a connection with the co-workers that you had before um, also it can mean that uh, around 12th of august you will be receiving results to your related to your health and diagnosis um, and also your pets there will be something related to your pets if you have pets and we're going to have a new moon on 27th of August in Virgo, in your own house. It means that from the end of August, you will be starting taking care of yourself or you will be starting a new chapter related to you to basically maybe you will be start you will start taking care of your image of your body how you look how you present yourself and it is going to be the theme of your september and i left out one aspect which is kind of uh, uh there is a bad aspect okay bad aspect i don't know why i'm saying it there is going to be some kind of tension not everything is always good but we're going to have a tension um for in in your case it's like 12th house opposing sixth house and squ squaring with <clears throat> ninth house uh to me there are many options one of the options is that when you are preparing for moving out or traveling to another country there could be some kind of tension related either to your health maybe because of health issues you won't be able to kind of achieve that goal that you want when it comes to living and studying abroad 
or it can mean that <clears throat> uh, it will be hard for you to find a new job in a different country or it can also mean that in the new country in the new place you at in the beginning during the from 24th of august you will in the like let's say you move out and you travel to another country in the middle of august and then from 24th of august you will have some kind of you know you will either feel uncomfortable in your new place especially if you find a new job maybe you will not like that new job maybe you will not like the, those co-workers but again it looks like uh, remember i told you the full moon shows that you are cutting ties with co-workers or employees it can also mean that <clears throat> you will be having some kind of tension with your employees or your co-workers or there could be literally like some kind of health issues that will be standing between you and traveling abroad, studying abroad or getting your degree and uh, getting those papers. So please make sure that you, that you do everything, prepare all of your documents, move out, move in, uh, get your degree, prepare for the exams until 24th of oh my God, August. Okay, uh, so... I don't want to end this video with a negative note but the thing is the beginning of august until 24th of august is super super good super beneficial for you it's really important for you to notice these big changes this amazing blessings that are coming to your way and use them for your benefit to sustain yourself uh, so that you can kind of have a control of your uh, last week of August and I really hope um, you are already subscribed to my channel if you are not please do so and I hope to see you on my next video which is going to be very juicy so see you soon have an amazing uh, August bye